Hi, it's Jim from Avstar Observatory. Very good morning to you. Um, before we get on, uh, we're going to be talking about a couple of different things, not particularly related to the pole shift, so there's your heads up, uh, but I think it is something that we should all think about, and you know, I'll be interested in your comments in the section below. Um, so big thanks to those few uh, that have been keeping us going here at the observatory with a couple of donations, and if you want to, the links are down there, and uh, you know, it'd be really appreciated. So we're looking at, um, you know, the Grand, the Grand Pacific Ocean Garbage Patch, and there are now seven of these around the world, all in international waters. And, you know, it's really sad because we don't, um, uh, the majority of us, realise what is actually taking place on a grand scale. Uh, and that is we are damaging the marine life of our oceans. And we rely on, you know, this for our food, um, you know, and, you know, the the animals which live in the sea rely on it. Um, for their home and you know these garbage patches are poisoning um, you know nurseries and places where you know small young fish thrive until they're of age to leave the um, security of these reefs uh, which are being heavily damaged and then you know take their place in the cycle of uh, you know their lives the point is you know no one will touch uh, or deal with the problem because it's in international waters and the cost to any one country would be, you know, uh, astronomical. But if we continue to allow this to uh, happen, the inevitable is we are going to destroy, you know, the habitat for all the sea uh, living creatures and we are also going to shoot ourselves in the foot uh, because, you know, we, we enjoy an abundance of food that comes from the oceans and you know we have seen already a reduction in the uh, quality and uh, amounts of you know uh, seafood uh, over the last say 20 years uh, being reduced and um, you know it's just sad that we are never going to see something done about this it's clear to me that that is the case uh, you know there has been a couple of people that have come up with, you know, um, different ideas which would tackle the problem, but in large, there is nothing being done. It's not just uh, the Grand uh, Ocean garbage patches around the world that we're seeing, uh, you know, humans fail as stewards, uh, you know, to take care of these problems. Um, I watched a couple of documentaries yesterday, and I just felt a little bit saddened that, you know, we are continually allowing these things to happen and doing very little about them. And one of those things, one of those documentaries I watched was about the Brazilian uh, rainforest being deforested. And, you know, in a lot of um, situations, a lot of the fires that were being started were deliberate. And that is so that they can clear the forest for agricultural lands uh, because they're more profitable for people. And, you know, it's just um, a real shame to see us destroy, uh, you know, something so pure as the rainforest. You know, there are species in there that we've not even discovered yet, but we will make extinct before we do. And, you know, it is the lungs of the earth. You know, a lot of oxygen is produced uh, from the rainforest. If we cut it all down, then we will be, you know, reducing, um, you know, naturally where our oxygen is created. Uh, it's just sad. You know, they're doing it for nothing more than money. And they're being very corrupt about the way they go about it. You know, they're setting fire to the forests. And uh, if it's not the setting fire of the forests, you know, they're cutting the trees down for the sale of the wood. And then... You know, what what I'm getting at in this video is exactly what humans will do to themselves in order to get money today. They won't think about it tomorrow. And, you know, it was really sad uh, because the other documentary I watched was about the rhinos. Uh, apparently there's a 9,000% increase in the slaughter of rhinos for the tusks. And it's a very small part of the animal. And yet they are killing the owl animal just for the tusk on it and you know this this species is going to become extinct 
and people are doing it just again for money despite if they get caught as they face a 25 year imprisonment sentence they are still going out there and slaughtering these rhinos and cutting their tusks off uh, for whatever they can sell them for I'm not sure whether it is a lucrative big business but you know the sad thing is is that we are going to see the extinction of rhinos if this continues despite um you know um you know people uh there in Africa to protect them you know the rangers and they've got helicopters uh they've got you know armed officers but they still cannot get ahead of the game on these poachers that are doing this so you know we've talked about the rainforest being deforest deforested not just for the sale of the wood but also for the lucrative uh, farmland which it reveals once it's cleared away uh, we're talking about the grand uh, ocean patches around the world destroying the marine equality and we're also watching uh, the extinction of rhinos as well as other species that are just killed simply for uh, you know a couple of items it cannot go on continuously like this you know we are almost becoming a virus on this planet and we're behaving in just the very same way as what mold would on a piece of bread if mold started off on the corner of the piece of bread it would definitely spread its way across the whole surface and in doing so it would increase its colonization uh, so there would be millions and millions and millions of spores and you know that piece of bread would very quickly be consumed by that mold um, as opposed to you know some form of control which you know mold isn't intelligent enough to see uh, what it's doing so therefore it continues until it's wiped out uh, its host and that is exactly how we are behaving on this planet you know there isn't another planet within our solar system that supports life and offers such an abundance and we haven't found another habitable planet uh, within local distance and travel that we can you know if we ruin this planet we can go to another one but <coughs> <coughs> excuse me even if we did we would do the same on that planet you know we've become like locusts we move from field to field consuming um, you know the crops in each field and leaving it devastated and we're going to continue doing this guys for the simple fact is the majority of us can't um, you know expand too much thought to all these things that are taking place around our world because we are so consumed with our own little bubble and in that bubble you know our own little family and as so long as our little family is okay right now today that's all uh, of most people's concern but nobody seems to be thinking about tomorrow and future generations and that is really why we have arrived at you know 2021 and facing some of the scenarios that we are no one's thought about the level of technological uh, increase um, that has now come about over the last 40 years and in doing so has removed uh, the labor intensive workforce problem is as i've said before is that we need a job in order to obtain money so we exchange labor for money and then we can participate in the monetary system in buying the resources that we need so you know the technology has taken away so much labor um, yet we haven't uh, stopped to think that we are still increasing our population on this earth and that you know the jobs uh, for the people that are on this earth will become few and far between and it will be a premium if you're able to get a job even at minimum wage and you know we've not shut down the manufacturing process of churning you know our children out of college and university with hundreds of thousand well hundred thousand pounds worth of um tuition bills uh it makes me wonder how they're ever going to pay these back because i wonder whether there will be jobs for them and they won't be certainly the only people that have studied uh, that course for that p 
particular role. So they will be, you know, in amongst a lot of competition. So now, by just being educated, it doesn't give you uh, the edge on the market anymore because there are far more people out there, probably even more educated than you. And therefore, you know, in a market where there is a lot of people to choose from, you are going to choose the very best for your company if you're looking for specific skills. So, you know, this is where we are and where we're going. And it comes down to, in a lot of respects, greed for money and corruption. You know, we will turn easily a blind eye to deforestation. And, you know, we will turn uh, a blind eye to, you know, poisoning of the oceans. And we will equally turn a blind eye to the wiping out of a particular species like the rhino. And we're all allowing this to happen. And it isn't going to stop. You know, the precedence has been set from the rich elite and the governments. And, you know, these people that are deforesting Brazil are not millionaires. They're just average people hoping to clear enough of the forest so that they can set up a small farm and earn some money for their families. But, you know, if we're going to continue to hold on to uh, the monetary system, then this is never going to change. None of these things are ever going to change. We need a new system. I do believe that. Because whilst we're in this monetary system, you know, we're all going to suffer. And it's going to get a lot worse than what it is right now. And this is just a couple of the subjects. If you look deeply enough, you will find many, many more. So I just thought, you know, I'd, I'd bring this to your attention. I'm really interested in your thoughts on, you know, how we reverse this, even if it's possible, or, you know, your ideas. And uh, I'd like to see them in the comment section. And I'll guarantee I will read all of them. Um, so, you know, something to think about on this Sunday. And um, I'll just mention uh, the link down there if you want to help support our observatory. Links there. And, uh, you know, I'll just wish you and your families, you know, all the best and say what I usually do. Bye for now.